days like this, surely you're close to giving that the lop off. Yeah, it does get pretty warm under here, but um, I've been telling everyone it's sun smart, so just get, we'll keep running with that. What are the plans with it anyway? Uh, no plans at the moment, we'll just we'll see how we go. If I start getting a kick, I might run with it. If I'm not getting a kick, I'll probably get rid of it. And if you're not <laughs> getting a kick, that. the coach will be telling you to get rid of it? Yeah, probably. How did this happen? Was this just a holiday, bit of holiday work that just kept going? or what's? Uh... Yeah, it did. It just started uh, after the season ended and um, started getting a bit of... Bit, uh, pretty thick and uh, then just sort of ran with it and it's still going. Yeah just the amount of um, workload the guys have been able to get in uh, obviously only had a few surgeries at the end of the year so everyone was pretty much up and running in, uh, in November when we went over to Arizona which uh, makes a massive difference if you can have a full pre-season under your belt and, um, and even the guys that did have surgery they're all up and going now so I think a couple of years ago we had over 20 surgeries and it's, it's really hard to get a good pre-season and obviously uh, during the year it takes its toll. Um, yeah, I'm not actually sure. I know all, all three of us will uh, get a go during the NAB Cup. Um, for me, it's just an honour sort of to be uh, mentioned in the running with um, the likes of Mark and Andrew. So, yeah, we'll uh, just see how we go in the uh, trials and NAB Cup, and um, I'm sure Mick will uh, make a decision after that. Oh, I'm sure Mick's got a fair idea of who he wants, but, um, yeah, he said that this, at the start of pre-season that everyone will have a run during the NAB Cup, so... Um, just looking forward to that. Do you know who's getting the ball rolling uh, this weekend? No, we haven't spoken about it, so we'll just wait to see. Who, um, not sure if all of, us will, all, all of us will play, so um, we'll just have to wait and see uh, in selection. It's not like Australian Idol. Do you want to go last just to see what everyone else has got to offer first, or do you want to go straight off the bat? Uh, I think we've all had a go of it um, when Juddy's been out, or myself previous uh, when Lance was out. So um, yeah, it's not going to be anything new for us, and we're probably not going to change too much of what we do. So. Um, yeah, I'm not sure who'll get the, get the first go. Do you have an opinion on, obviously Sydney have been doing it, I think, for a little while, co-captains? How do you think that would work? Um, yeah, it could work. Obviously, Sydney uh, worked well last year, so they've, they've won, and they've obviously ran with it for quite a few years. Um, I think if you've got the right leaders for it, um, it can work quite well, and if, if you've only got one, then that works obviously quite well for a lot of other teams. What struck you most about Mick so far, Kate? Um, just his positivity has been um, great. I know just as a, as a senior guy, him coming in, um, it's just been fantastic and all the, getting uh, so much run and the training so much different, just, I don't know, just after 10 years sort of pre-season, they sort of get a bit dragging, but having a new coach come in, it just uh, gets everyone up and about and refreshes the uh, mind and body. Yeah, you would have heard a lot of stories about him, you would have, you know, you've been around for a while, you would have sort of had, a, had an idea of what you were going to get. Has he surprised you at all? Uh, I was lucky enough to have Mick um, in two of the international yeah. rules, so I, I had a fair idea of um, what he was about, but um, you see why he's been in the game for so long. He's just the ultimate professional. Um, when he speaks, everyone listens, and everything makes total sense, and you gives the guys a lot of confidence yeah, when he, he talks. He can he can give a fair spray. Have you copped anything from him so far? No, he's sort of he's uh, been playing the seed that he's starting to um, get into game mode now. So um, I'm sure we'll cop a couple off him uh, during the season and, uh, and during the NAB Cup. But um, he's been very mellow through pre-season. But I think he's just starting to warm up. He said there'd be teething problems getting used to his style of play. How, is it radically different, or is that just all a bit of bit of hype? Is it significantly different the last year? Um, a little bit different, yeah. I think um, obviously it's going to take a, a bit of time getting used to. That's what the uh, NAB Cup's for, and we're going to uh, rehearse in those uh, four games that we have. So I think it's going to take a little bit of time for the boys to get used to. But um, from what I've seen from training and the two intra club, it's, it's going pretty well at the moment. It's, it's really hard to say at the moment. Once we get our sort of our strongest 22 out and we rehearse during the NAB Cup, you'll probably have more of an idea of, of how we're going to go. But um, as I said, we're just going to these next four weeks during the NAB Cup really rehearse and really practice on the game plan because we haven't really entered clubs it doesn't really work too well. Um, just um, I think last year you went through the pre-season without a win from memory just the importance of getting you know especially with the new coach new game plan of just getting a few runs on the board and getting a bit of confidence up in the pre-season. Uh, yeah I'm not sure if we'll worry about the result but I know we'll go through each game um, quite heavily looking at our structures and that sort of stuff so I'm not sort of worried about the result, but I think if we uh, play our game plan and, and get the structures right that Mick wants, I'm sure the result will take care of itself. Yeah, we all know Judd is the ultimate professional, so um, his body's always in great nick. Um, I know having a couple of weeks off is probably going to do him uh, good in the long run, I reckon. Um, if he gets one or two games in during the pre-season, uh, he'll be ready to go for round one. Uh, yeah, I think once we uh, all got named into the leadership uh, this year over in Arizona, I think it sort of gives you the right to uh, speak up and speak your mind and the players voted us into that role so um, 
they've really given us the license to uh, speak our mind and say things how we see it.